Yo, what's up party people in the house, everybody in the channel watching me right now. Um, I've got a Steam Deck. Hooray for me. Um, I am very pissed off as still at the company that, um, uh, that Steam uses. Steam uses either DHL, which is a reasonable courier, or GLS. And GLS is really, really bad. I think they're one of the cheapest. Um, they most of the time lose their packages they say that they lose them but most of the time they steal them uh, I've had this happen to me countless times already even also one time with a steam package regarding two uh, VR controllers which was absolutely great but finally we have our steam deck um, it took at least well, almost a week now uh, regarding uh, a specific holiday that we have here in the Netherlands there we go so it came in this I have the most expensive version, um, sorry to say. Should not have done that, but I really like Steam. So this is the, the carrying pouch or the carrying case. It has a handle. It has this little opening right here, which in here we have the, um, the charging cable, which is a brick. But there's like a big hole here, if you can see it. And that's where you can put this. Um, I don't know how to get it flush, but whatever, it's going to stay there. And then, yeah, you have two little zippers right here. They're still in plastic. And then you have your little Steam Deck um, wiper that you can use for the screen. So, all in all, pretty good stuff. Um, we were at 69, we're now at 68%. The battery goes down really quickly, I'm very sad to say. Um, doesn't matter what you do. Well, of course, if you're playing a, a game, it goes down pretty fast. I still have to go to the desktop and stuff like that, but whatever. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to show you really quickly um, a game. Um, I'm going to go to library. We have some uh, some games that are installed already. We just tested our RecFest, but it's not working for me. Um, this is also the version with the anti-glare, which is really nice. But supposedly, if you have anti-glare, you need to up the brightness a little bit, I think, because anti-glare is a little bit thicker and a little bit darker, I think. So we're going to go over to Car X real quick. We're just going to play that. Certain games, of course, have the cloud saves. Not every single game has that. So some games, when you're like um, downloading them onto the Steam Deck and playing them, you don't get the correct save or no save at all. Um, thankfully, Car X is one of the games that is uh, a lot better regarding um, how it's made. So yeah, this seems to work very well. So I'm going to try and... Oh, good lord, I have to see if I can sit a little bit like this. Then at least you can see the screen. Um, we're going to go drift real quick. We're going to do Navarro Base in reverse. Let's see how fast it loads. Boom! That's how fast it is. So here we go. Let's see if I can... Oh, shit. Really needs to go straight. It's difficult to... Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So the sound is not that loud right now. I am not doing the best that I can because I'm looking towards a camera in front of the screen, which is annoying. Which is my um, my DJI. Oh, boy. Oof. Oh, those are movable this time. That's nice. It's still on semi-automatic, this game. I still have to... I don't know why that is. When I go past red line, it shifts up for me. Normally, I try to do that. I need to go into a transition real quick, actually. I need to pause the game. Okay, so we paused it. I'm going to press the Steam button right here. And we can show you the full brightness, full aud uh, audio. Come on, I want to get it a little bit more... Doesn't go higher than that, which is fine. So now it looks really, really dope. All right, let's see if we can do this again. I love this Corvette, it's so good.
Yeehaw, there we go. I hope we were able to follow that a little bit. So, uh, there we go. We have 10 million, which is nice. So we're going to go back to this, turn down the audio a little bit, and the brightness. We're going to look to the replay real quick. So yeah, uh, again, this is me just testing this out. Um, like I said, you can hear, you can probably hear the, uh, the fan spinning up now. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, I have uh, what they call high frequency hearing, so I hear um, specific high frequencies and the fan is pretty annoying to me, but again, you know, if you're, if I'm out and about and I'm just trying to charge my electric car and I have this with me in the glove box, uh, I can just sit around and play for like half an hour, three quarters of an hour and just have fun drifting or skating or whatever, which is perfect for me. Um, again, just don't expect the battery life to get like three or four hours. Um, well, maybe three or four hours, but nothing like big or past that or something like that, if I'm making any sense. Uh, there are so many people talking about the battery life and I still have to figure out because I just got it, of course. I just have it in my hands a couple of minutes now uh, regarding the installs that I did. But um, yeah, I tested Car X, I tested Skater XL, I tested Disney Infinity 3.0. Um, what else did we have on there? I don't remember, but you know, it works. Um, if I didn't have a camera in front of my face right now talking to it, this would just, you know, be perfect for on the go. Uh, I really hated the Nintendo Switch. Um, so I am going to be very interested in what this holds for the future and what this brings to the table. Uh, especially when you just plop this down on a dock, even though the dock has been postponed probably till 2023. But um, yeah, when you dock it and you just put a screen on there and a mouse and a keyboard, for example, or you grab another controller or whatever, you really have your mini PC. So that's pretty cool. So the thing that I have to do right now, which I haven't done yet is go out of the game again the fan is still spinning it's gonna go down now oh yeah shredders we have this which is desk job this is a um, steam deck uh, specific game that they made just like they did for aperture hand labs regarding the valve index the vr um, steam thing which we also had so shredders uh, these are the five games that i have installed right now uh, Desk Job, Car X, uh, Disney Affinity 3.0, Shredders, Snowboarding Game, and Skater XL, which is the skateboarding game. Um, so that's, yeah, that's just pretty dope. We can go back. We can go back to this. Like I said, we come back to home. We can go and look up all these things over here. All the little sounds that you hear, friends, recommend that, yada, yada, yada. However, if I go to the power button right here and I hold it, there we go, we get... Change gun. Switch to desktop. Switching to desktop. And this is where all the magic happens regarding your emulation or your windows or whatever the hell you want to put on there. So, um, yeah, it's cool. It has the, the Wi-Fi. It has Firefox. Um, you can use the mouse right here. I'm using my... I hope you guys can see that. See the little cursor? which I'm using with my thumb. You can use it with the left. No, you can't use it with the left. So it's this. Okay, you can make those things. All right, so that's really cool. Um, so we can go back to Steam and we can go back to return gaming mode. You can move this over here. You can move this over here. And then use this as well. So even the touchpad works really well. It's really a good thought out piece of kit. And um, so again, if we go over here. Oh, no, I didn't want to switch those. That's crazy. How did I do that? Oh, well. We can do a double tap. Can we do a trigger? Can we do A button? No. Do I have to I really have to press it, huh? With the with the, the pad. Fire starts here. Welcome to Firefox. Firefox privacy notice. So, for example, 
YouTube's on here. If we go to, oh boy, I don't want to sign in. Um, oh yeah, well, of course we can use this as touch screen. There we go, reject all. Okay, so this is still something that I have to figure out. Um, I should be able to get a keyboard on here. I've done that before. However, I don't know why it's not doing it now. Clipboard, lock key, set of disk and devices. Oh, lock keys activated. Why can we not do this? That's a stupid. Uh, is there anything we can do with this? What's that? Animation speed, change wallpaper. Oh, that's cool. We can do all that stuff. Nice. Hmm. And this is... Go away. This is our home dolphin stuff documents. Uh-huh. All right. Get that. I get that out of the way. So yeah, uh, I'm pro. Yeah, I'm just talking already for like 13 minutes right now. But again, this is cool stuff. Um, I have to figure out how to get a keyboard on here. I still don't know how. People are probably screaming to me like, "What are you doing? What the hell's that? Oh, you can get that stuff away. That's cool, yo. Why? I don't understand why the keyboard isn't popping up." It should just pop up. Skip ads. We don't want anything of that regarding audio and stuff like that. That's Bluetooth. That's battery. Display brightness. Yeah, automatic sleep. That's going to be Steam. What's this? That's the thingy. Oh, man. I don't know. I have to figure this out. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video real quick. Even though it's just me talking a lot of bullshit. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, and... Check out the next video with or without the Steam Deck, and I'll see you guys then. Thank you. Peace.